What does it feel to be the first guest on the show? That's wonderful. It's going to be the, the Joe Rogan meets uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashian <laughs> of this, right? <laughs> oh, it's a good beginning. The pain point is a bit of an internal pain point because I left the company for two years in a sabbatical. I went into crypto. I actually built a new uh, Bitcoin okay. that failed, but it was still a wonderful experience. So I came back to my company after okay. two years and I said, we need change. It's a new Bruno. We need a new Larvel. Taglines are so useless, we don't know, we don't remember any of them, except for um, just do it or yes, we can. Very, very few taglines are remembered. Do you have one? We had one, we had one or two. I don't think we really used it very much because they were trying to both say who we are and what we do. They were trying to do everything. I didn't like them. What was it? We look wide and large to find the answer. It wasn't that, but it was something... Like yes, I can see you, you, you really like it. One of my executives is in charge of redoing the website and uh, rebuilding the, the identity, the visual identity of the company. But for the, I would say for the tagline or the slogan in particular, I wanted to be the one who decides. Do you do that with all the topics in business or is it just this one? I am a little bit of a micromanager. But I'm, I'm recovering. I'm doing much better. I need to love a tagline. It's like the name of a baby. Names is different because I have a view about names that main names don't matter at all. The names just have to be simple, distinctive, and pronounceable. But trying to have a name mean something is also a waste of time. A name should be empty of any impression, in my view. And then they have to deserve whatever impression you have when you see it. Larval, as a name, means nothing. Trying to name your your kid uh, uh, with a name that means something, hoping that they become that something, it's a complete waste of time. I started by saying, maybe we don't have a tagline. If you have one, you have to take a risk. Something that reflects who we are, I guess, and what we do. So we're in pharma, right? We're in healthcare. And we are a little crazy. By crazy, I mean that we're obsessed. We're serving our customer, obsession. And we're also willing to break convention. The tagline that I was pushing was crazy for health. Yeah. On top of that, I wanted crazy to be spelled with an I because we have to be different. Everybody hated it. I posted it on social media. Nobody liked it. But I said it's the same with the, um, the cyber truck from Elon Musk. It broke a design rule and they sold, I don't know, 100,000 of them. It's the same for kombucha. The first time you try kombucha, you don't like it. So you prefer when people don't like it. I wanted people to feel, who do you think he is? Get their attention. It's okay if they're slightly annoyed as long as they notice and as long as they understand that there's a message. I don't care what they think. I'm going to do it. Okay. Right? I'm going to talk with one more friend because and he's going to not like it. And I'm going to say thank you. And I'm going to respectfully ignore what he said. What did he say? The first thing he said is that using crazy as an adjective might be offensive for people who are actually crazy. Because some people have deep mental illness. And I'm actually sensitive to that argument. I think that yeah. it doesn't cost us a lot to be sensitive to people's perception of the way we use words. And then on top of that, he said, crazy with an I. It's a, nearly the same letters as Nazi. Oh. That tagline is dead. So what did you do? I thought about an alternative in Latin. Semper tigris. Semper is always like semper fidelis in the... U.S. Marines were always uh, loyal. Tigress with a, like a tiger? Tiger. Always a tiger. Cool. Always a tiger. Okay. So <laughs> what does it mean to you? Yeah, I, means, I, I don't know. It means nothing. It means nothing because you don't know yet that for uh, we're tigers. We don't call people employees or contractors. They're tigers. It means fast and on a mission. It says who we are, not what we do to do anything in business. But it says who we are, so that's why it's a slogan. Why didn't you use an agency, like you know, specialists, people who don't know you, so they can analyze it very clearly? 
the reason why nearly no slogan is good, in my view, is because they build by committee, by consultant, by external people. And when you are a consultant, you don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to take risks. These long taglines, they try to say everything. They don't pick one thing. It doesn't work. It has to come from inside the company. Is this new slogan online? Not yet. It should be within weeks when the new website goes live. So it could change again? It could. It could. <laughs> It's highly unlikely. We don't learn that at school, you know, this method, this process. We don't learn. Imagine that you didn't have this meeting with your friend. The new slogan of the company would be crazy about health. Do, yes. do you re realize the, <laughs> the luck? Very interesting point. So now that I think about crazy about healthcare, if we had done it, I'm afraid to say I, I hate it now. So the question is, is it going to be the same with St. Protagoras? If in five years you interview me and say, oh no, we stopped with the tiger thing, it would have been a failure. I was able to change my mind. I love making decisions, maybe sometimes too much, and I'm trying to make less and less decisions. So I guess what I'm What I'm learning is increasingly to let people make decisions, even if I'm 80% certain that it's a wrong decision, as long that the cost of that decision sure. is not high.